Every day, our immune system defends us against external threats such as invading pathogens and internal threats like cancerous cells. A key part of this defense is a specialized class of immune cells called dendritic cells. These cells patrol the extracellular space looking for foreign proteins, which can originate from invading pathogens such as bacteria or viruses, or from cancer cells. What you see here is a dendritic cell engulfing the remains of a dead cancer cell. The proteins from cancerous cells contain many mutations. The dendritic cell then processes these mutated proteins producing short sequences of amino acids called antigens, or neoantigens if they come from cancer cells. Then, the dendritic cell loads these antigens and neoantigens into histocompatibility complexes found on the cell's surface. Histocompatibility complexes come in two types, MHC1 and MHC2. MHC2 generally presents longer peptides than MHC1. MHC2 is limited to antigen-presenting cells such as dendritic cells. MHC1 is found on most human cells, immune or otherwise. MHC1 found on cells other than immune cells will contain peptides from the cell's own degraded proteins. The antigen-loaded dendritic cell travels to the lymphatic system. Once there, it will present the neoantigens and antigens it has found to another key component of the immune system, the T cells. T cells undergo maturation in the thymus gland, the central hub of the lymphatic system. Through a complex selection process, each T cell generates a highly specific T cell receptor, or TCR. Our bodies can generate quadrillions of distinct TCRs, giving us enormous potential to fight a vast variety of pathogens and cancers. Within the thymus, the TCRs are tested against the body's database or self sequences as a preventative measure against autoimmunity. If a match occurs, the self-reactive TCR is destroyed together with the T cell itself. T cells that survive to maturity are differentiated into two types, one bearing the CD4 co-receptor and the other bearing CD8 referred to as helper and killer T-cells, respectively. Now, the T-cells are ready to exit the thymus and begin circulating between the lymphatic system and the bloodstream. Moving around increases the likelihood that a given T-cell's TCR will encounter its target antigen. This is when the dendritic cells re-enter the scene. By presenting antigens on their MHCs, dendritic cells enable T-cells to recognize their foes. After some time, a dendritic cell finds a T cell bearing a TCR compatible with the antigen it is presenting. The TCR binds to the antigen MHC complex, initiating the process of T cell activation. <laughs>